Hey, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use this Hatch utility framework for Webflow by Flamingo. And I'm gonna be using it to build this create remote uh, landing page within Figma. My plan here is to kind of go through and match all the typography, colors, and various elements that go into this landing page, as well as additional pages that they have in here. I'll just for this video series be building just the landing page, but I wanted to start for the first video with just showing you how to use this clonable file because it's available to the public. It's honestly the best way to start a project and have consistency, uh, you know, down the timeline. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go in and create a project. And I should also note that I'm using Create Remote's Webflow account um, while, while doing this. Create Remote is a design community, which I, I think maybe in the future it's open to the public. It may be open to the public now, um, but what you would do is request to join, uh, at least right now. Yeah, so uh, definitely check out this group. I think it's, I think Create Remote just hit 1,000 uh, people and now that I think about it, I think it may actually be open. So um, there may be some new uh, Copy for this button, but wanted to go over the general layout for how you would put together a basic landing page like this and you know deal with things like where the text is colored right here. This would be a text span same with right here, you know how to get a gradient into that button how to get a gradient border around this button and uh yeah i'm gonna need to clone that project so what i'm gonna do is create project and we're gonna just call it create remote website and so what i'm just going to be showing you again is these colors typography and elements that are within this hatch file so if i click it here it'll just um, anchor link down to colors and typography. And you can see that everything is already in here. Um, and also what Flamingo has done really, really well is they've provided this documentation link to Notion. And so you can open this up and kind of see how everything is set up. I think there's over 2000 pre-made classes and uh, there's also a YouTube video that you can follow along with this um, documentation as like a, a little walkthrough. But what's really awesome about this is like, if I go into typography and font size, you can see that these are all of sort of the classes that are set up um, already for, for us. And uh, th they're using the, the REM based uh, system, which starts at a base uh, pixels size of 16. And what this allows for is um, it allows you to scale down from desktop to tablet to landscape and portrait uh, all while maintaining the sizes that you want as long as you are so right now you can see h1 you have your 3 rem which is 48 pixels 2.5 rem which is 40 and 1.75 rem which is 28. what we'll do here is calculate the amount that we want for the font we're using is blatant and we'll do 72 pixels. Okay, so I'm in preview mode, I'll get out of preview. And this is usually just the first thing that I do when I'm building a site is I really just wanna set up all of my styles so I have everything in place and everything ready to go. He actually has some instructions up here. So uh, to update your font, first add in your project settings. So I'll just do all H1 headings, should be right there. And then um, I'm gonna want to add in blatant, which I believe I have right now. So what I wanna do is hit this hamburger menu and go to project settings. So now we're in our project settings and what we can do is go over to fonts and then I believe this is just a font that's right on my computer. And then I'll just select all those fonts and hit open. 
And now I just hit upload font file for each font. And I can get rid of Poppins. Okay, so now I'll go back to the designer. I'll get the type in and then I'll get the color. Normally you'd want to have your styles. Uh, you'd want to have your all of your styles set up. Doesn't look like all the styles are preset up here, but should be pretty easy to just go in here and there. So we can end up making these colors into styles within Webflow. So what I want to do here is just go without selecting anything yet. I want to change the entire site wide. Well, no, I don't. I want to just do headings as blatant and then we'll go body as a different font. So open up this, do all H1 headings. And then over by font, I can just go and find blatant, which is right here. And let me just double check on the weight, I believe. Okay, it looks like some of this is regular and some of it is bold. So for this, I just want to double check the documentation and just see like if there's anything, any uh, guidance around this, which there is. It looks like the classes that are set up are weight normal and weight bold. And so I'm assuming that you would apply this class these are the classes. I'm assuming you'd apply this to the uh, heading that you want to have this weight. We can move forward and apply all these base styles here. And then for specific headings, I believe we should be able to type in like weight. Yeah, you see right here, bold and normal. So later on, we can apply those weight styles to the classes. But for now, we just want to make sure that everything is changing globally, which is this red h2 header um, or h2 tag and all of the corresponding uh, red tags that go with the headings so i will just go through and change all of these also important to note that you should select bold sometimes uh, the weight is not pre-selected when um, adding in a new font. So that's really important. And I actually, for this, I think for these two, I accidentally, um, did not, yeah. So for these heading, for the heading four and heading five, I just forgot to select the red tag. And so I'm just gonna go make sure these have that global tag. Okay, great. So Everything should have this global tag, and it's important to note that if you look uh, over here when you select the class, you're not gonna see any t uh, class attached to it or any custom class because you're on you've only created this global tag for everything. I'm gonna go through and kind of mess around with the rem values, but this i can give an example for the first one so right now the rem value is three which means that it's got a 48 pixel um size because again everything is multiplied by 16. uh so going back here what i want to do is just check on the size of our h1 and that's going to be 72 and i want to just double check here that that's going to be the same throughout which it should be looks like it is so uh, what I'm going to do here is do some quick math. We want 72 divided by 16, four and a half. All right. So this will be our, and actually you can see it applied that heading there. What we want to do is we want to make sure to have this all H1 headings applied. So now when I do it there, now it's not applying any new class. It's just applying that all H1 headings global tag. And so what I want to do is just go through the rest of these and uh, 
make those sizes. And what you can also do is delete some of these headings. You may not need all of them. Looks like for this right here, we only have uh, a few. I think we have like, I think it's like four, probably three or four different headings. We may not need to use all of them, but I'm just gonna keep them within this space just for now in case I need them later. Uh, but I'll probably just affect this H4 value. So I'm gonna pause here and I will start again with colors. You know, once we've got our colors ready, we can jump into how to style, let's see, like elements, like form fields and buttons. And then we can actually build the uh, landing page. All right, uh, I hope you enjoy this first video and I will see y'all on the next one.